Wii Video is a great online video editor. And one of the things that I really like about it is that you can connect with videos that are in your Google Drive. Now, this might come in handy if you've got a Google Meet, for example, and you want to use it as a model lesson or you want to use it as a pre-recorded lecture to use again at a later time. What I'll focus on here is just how to trim the start and end of it perhaps, maybe add one or two annotations and then export it into a form where it can be used and viewed again later on. Let's take a look. Right, so here we are in Wii Video. We're going to create new. So good little drop down arrow there. I'm going to choose video. And then you can choose between the full featured or the simplified ed editor based on your level of comfort. So I'm going to go with the full featured one. So the, we're assuming that the video that you want to use is something like a Google Meet recording, which is going to be in your Google Drive. So you're going to come here to import. And then down here where you've got the Google Drive icon, you're going to click that. It may take you through an authorization process and you'll end up in the navigator for your Google Drive. You can also access any shared drives that you have access to as well. So you'll need to find the Meet Recordings folder, which is that one there. And you can either double click it to enter it or you can try and use the select button down there. So we'll double click it. Now, I don't have too many Meet Recordings myself, so I'll go ahead and use this one here. You'll notice that there'll be this sort of uh, line under here. That means that it's rendering and it's importing into Wii Video. So you'll need to wait until that's finished. The longer the video, the longer it's going to take. All right, so that import for a meeting that took, I don't know, an hour and a half or something like that, or an hour and 20, uh, that took 30 minutes to import. So do allow some time to do your import. This isn't a, a quick project, unfortunately. All right, so once the Meet recording has been imported into Wii Video, you simply need to put your mouse over the top so you get that cross there, click and hold, and drag it down here to what we call the timeline, and uh, position it so that it starts right at the beginning. So you'll see it sitting on the uh, timeline there. And when it's selected, you'll get these tools here. So you can adjust things like the volume, you can add some special effects and so forth. If you need to do things like cropping, so you've got this pencil tool here. So you open that up and this is where you can change things about the actual clip and you can transform it. So uh, you can sort of do all this kind of stuff here. You can shift it around on the canvas and so forth blur the background if you need to. Although I'd be careful about applying some of these uh, effects, particularly with a longer recording, because it will take time for it to process. Uh, if you need to crop it, you can use this tool here and you uh, select the, the dimensions that you want for your cropping. Uh, you can adjust the volume, uh, add in some animations and so forth and other special effects, color keying, that's getting into areas that we don't really need. So, and then you can speed up and slow down the clip if you need to. Uh, when you're done with those changes, you can just go ahead and save the changes. Like I said, if you do a trying to apply it to the whole clip, and if it's a long clip, it will take time to do that. So do factor that in. I'm just going to cancel out of this for now. Uh, so let's say we want to trim the first part because you know often in these meetings. People turn up, they sit around making small talk and not much is going on. So you may not actually want that in the final video that you, you share. So grab this blue playhead here and move that along to where you want the, the clip to start. And you've got this scissor icon here. So just go ahead and click that and that will split the clip. And then you've got one clip there one clip there and you can go ahead and just press with that one selected so you see you've got that blue line around it you can just click on the trash can here to delete it and that will remove it but that leaves this gap here so you'll need to click and hold and drag it back to the to the start now the other way that you can 
trim the start of the clip is down here in your timeline is one place. They've also got it up here as well. So you can set the beginning and end points for the overall clip. So if I hover my mouse over like that, you get that uh, two-headed arrow there. I can click and hold and then drag. And that will also shorten the clip and remove that part from the start as well. Uh, if you need to chop a bit out of the middle of the clip, typically what you have to do is, so we can just click along the timeline here somewhere, so there's my playhead. So I would cut it there, and then let's say I want to end there, and so this new section that I've created here is what I want to remove from the final video. I can then move that, and then grab this and drag it back like that. And so I can keep going through and uh, chopping out the bits that I don't need and so forth. So if you want to add text, so if you want a title slide at the start, for example, you need to come here to the uh, text menu, click on the type of text that you want to add, and then click and hold and drag it down and put it at the start there. When you let go, it gives you the option. Do you want to trim to fit or insert and push? So we'll go for this one here. And that's pushed along and then we can double click that and we can take care of our text in here and obviously all the formatting stuff comes with it as well you know so you can position it rotate it all that kind of groovy stuff, and then save changes when you're done. And that's where it appears there. When you're done, go ahead and click on finish. It'll ask you for the name of your video. So you know, something that is going to be easy to be remembered and then set that. It will then ask you what you want to export the quality that you want to export it your destinations is something that you're going to need to pay attention to um, it will default to your we video account you probably want to go with either google drive or youtube depending on who your final audience is going to be for now i'll go with google drive it'll do the usual hey we want access to your account thing Okay, go ahead and allow that. Uh, you might want to think about whether the market is public or not. You can also connect it to your YouTube account and then go ahead and click export. Now, the longer the video, the longer it's going to take to actually export. You can get, then go off and do something as well. As I say here, you'll get an email once the video is ready. Once you've got the notification that the video is ready, two places that you can find it. One is in your Wii Video account, so here in the uh, exports menu, and it will be listed here under my exports. The other place, if you chose that Google Drive option, in Google Drive, Wii Video actually creates a folder for you in under your account, and inside that will be the video that was exported. There it is there. And so you'll need to go ahead and set your sharing permissions uh, as required for access to that video. The other thing that you can do back over in WeVideo, and you can do this from Google Drive as well, is you can uh, opt to download the video as well. So there you go, there's one way that you can integrate WeVideo with the videos that you've recorded via Google Meet and uh, enhance those videos a little bit and make them a little bit more user friendly. As always, if you've got any dramas, let me know. So for example, if you need an account for WeVideo, hit me up and we'll go from there. All right, have a good one. Cheers.